Good morning guys, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the vlog. We're really churning and burning these things. Today is uh, going to be another floor day. We've done the cutting of the floor, which was quite nice. Then we did the gluing of the floor, which went pretty well. And today we are going to lay in the PEX piping. PEX is a type of plastic piping. And that is going to go up and down and around and provide the uh, glycol heated uh, hydronic fluid into the floor, which will uh, in turn provide heat, which will radiate up and warm the van. I've actually been excited about doing this for quite some time. Uh, Even before I started the tour, I was thinking about a uh, heated flooring and how it works and how it works in vans because uh, at my house in uh, Michigan, my dad's house, we put hydronic heated floors in concrete and that's how most people do it. They'll pour concrete, the piping into the concrete floor and then the floor itself warms up because uh, the concrete uh, distributes the heat in a bit of a different way. Whereas uh, an, in a floor like a van, you know, you got this metal floor and how do you, how do you create the substrate that would normally just leach, leach uh, heat just out? Um, how do you use it to your advantage to provide heat for the interior uh, of the van and not, not just let it go to the outside? So um, part of that solution has been lizard skin, which was a, a, a coating that we put on the inside of the van. All of that wall back there is basically lizard skin. It's half a sound deadener and then half a uh, thermal uh, barrier like a ceramic thermal coating. So that is caked on the floor underneath this board that we cut yesterday. If you wanna see that episode, you can go, go back and check those out. Cause I've got the visit to Moscow where, where I picked up the lizard skin and I also have a multi-part series where I sprayed the lizard skin. Some of that was me tearing my hair out. I had more hair back then. Anyways. So yeah, uh, today we're actually gonna lay the pecs in. I'm gonna clean all this stuff out first. First job for the morning. And uh, yeah, there's some tricks here that we'll be doing. As a matter of fact, if you look, you can see, you can see this, the, at this point, it widens slightly, the trench. And that's done for a very specific reason. And uh, we'll show you about that a little later. Okay, so the way that we're doing this uh, along the journey, you might be wondering like, how much am I doing? How much are the people that I'm meeting doing? It's all variable. Different places are helping me to different capacities. I wanna learn how to do it. There's a few places I went to where they're like, what is your purpose? You know, like, like are you gonna be filming? Are you gonna be helping? And I, I'm trying to do as much as possible. In this case, um, the floor cutting at the CNC shop, obviously I can do a lot, but I, I was helping around the shop. But the gluing down of these panels, uh, I did that all yesterday. What happens when you do something for the first time is, is you make first timer mistakes. And I didn't adhese this corner uh, solid enough. So um, I had to make up for it by cutting uh, this corner and this corner out. And then I used the cutouts and shimmed them down and then jam them underneath. And then I screwed the entire plate down. So that piece is down. My batteries are gonna be here. There's gonna be a lot of weight here and I wanted to support. The whole floor should be secured down. This joiner right here was uh, a little bit loose. It also had to do with the way that the extra wide dually tires are, are set up with the ribs here. I think there was an extra wide gap here. In a lot of cases, it was it was a bit too wide, so I was able to secure those down. I had to cut those off, obviously, and then uh, prime them from underneath so they don't rust. I don't, you know, I, I'm I'm here to kind of show you my process, and whether I do make a mistake or not, I, I kind of want to show you that as well. And I'm learning about this floor. If I was to make another one of these floors, I would not have these problems because I'd be able to solve it. Also, I have different layers of kill mat and lizard skin that are causing variations that aren't necessarily a problem that you'd have 
in a pristine new van, which is a lot of what people are doing here. Before they put in the floor, they probably just bought the van. Um, so there's there's all sorts of variations in the process, and so I'm 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 just telling you what's happening now. Um, we do have some slight variations, ups and downs here, um, just stuff that I can't quite take out. So instead, um, I'm going to take an orbital sander, which is connected to a HEPA filter, which is pretty awesome. I never had this in my dad's shop. <laughs> festival and uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna make these uh, these points as even as possible all right guys like I said typically you do a hydronic system in like concrete floor the concrete will warm up and then the whole house will stay warm for quite some time in vans it's a little bit different the board that I used is it actually has a pretty high R value so it's going to be insulated in itself which is great but you still want to reflect that heat up so you use what's called transfer plates in fact even in residential properties or even commercial properties uh, sometimes if you have a wooden floor uh, you can still use these transfer plates they're basically just reflective uh, metal that the PEX lays into and then when the PEX piping heats up it reflects that heat up and transfers the heat outward instead of downward to the exterior surface of the van. Now obviously you can't do curves with this material so we've got these long sections here uh, but we also have these short areas cut. You can see where these areas have been cut to accept the extra thickness of the transfer plate. So I have to cut these lengths and we've got let's see one two three four five six seven eight eight of those this particular batch of plates uh, the corners got a little smushed but it's not a big deal and in fact any imperfections in the metal as far as uh, little bends and stuff it will be sandwiched with a piece of wood on top here a piece of quarter inch Baltic birch so it's no big deal okay so the next step now I have all of the uh, reflector plates in now I gotta glue them in but uh, yeah this is, this is what it's gonna look like Okay, so all of the transfer plates are glued down. Now, uh, from what Sam tells me, he's like, this is kind of the fun part, where the PEX piping is, is wrapped. And so you bend it around and then up, and you sort of wind it in. And then once that's done, we'll put a piece of uh, Baltic birch over the top of this, secure it down, and then uh, this floor will be finished. And uh, so will my time at Just Roaming for a little while. Or you got it glued down, you've put in the aluminum heat reflectors, so the heat reflectors are going to take the heat from the uh, the glycol and then disperse it out over the floor. So now we're just going to lay the packs down into the substrate. And then I'll just follow you, try and keep this unwound. Yep. Start it up. Pretty cool. We have a heated floor. So I'll be able to just have these extra long hanging out here until uh, I install my cabinetry and obviously there was gonna be a, a comfort hot system here. Cool. Cool, man. Easy. Easy peasy. Yeah, super easy. And that'll go down, there's the inlets on there. Yep. Sick. Awesome. Yeah. Good work. <laughs> we did this in like 10 minutes. Yeah. I didn't even use the full 30 minute time lapse, but. Okay, so everything's glued down and the PEX piping is in. Now I have to lay a little bit more glue down on the floor and then uh, glue down a series of 
Baltic birch panels that were made at the same time that the floor was made. But these are made a little bit differently. Obviously they don't have the channels for the PEX pipe, but they do have the guides. So you can see the guides in here. You'll see them better when I lay them in there. But basically they allow you to know where the piping is running through so that if you do want to put a hole or do a nail, you don't have to uh, worry about <laughs> putting a nail into the uh, PEX pipe. Because if you were to put a nail into the PEX pipe, then you're, you're screwed. <laughs> you're in big trouble. One at a time, we'll put those in and we'll lay them in just like I did on the original, uh, the original pieces in the bottom of the van. In, our, in Claire and our tiny house, we're doing the finish floor is gonna be the quarter inch Baltic. Oh, yeah. And we're gonna, but we're gonna leave the engravings of where the heated floor is. <laughs> oh. So you'll be able to see. That's cool. So That's if you cool. want extra warm toes, you'll know where to stand. <laughs> yeah, right, right. All right, guys, we are all finished, I think. The uh, floor is glued down, the PEX pipe is laid in, and then a piece of quarter inch Baltic birch is glued on top of that. I have another set of uh, pieces that will actually go on top of this just to kind of, just to be a sort of a floor until I have a floor. I I'm not sure if I'm gonna have some sort of vinyl uh, locking uh, wood, wood faux wood floor, or if I'm just gonna go with a large piece that will go over the whole thing. Actually, Sam at Just Roaming Design has a, has a bunch of those types of floors. They look kind of interesting. If you guys remember, I had a leaky CRL window. Well, we've just uh, run a water test. No leaks. That is a, that's a very small win, but I'll take it. But Sam's finishing up the adventure wagon. Oh, cool. Long days. Yeah. Well, it's a lightweight solution, you know can't get lighter than this. There's like a solution for everyone, but for what it is, I'd be stoked if this was, you know, to go out on, on a weekend adventure and yeah. like this. For right, sure. right, right. Just a quick solution. Yeah. For sure. It's like a modular yeah. thing, yeah. so you can like set it up. So, I mean, she's going to get a galley later on. And you got a, the Eberspacher heater. You find it, you put it uh, right by the wheel well. What is this called? Like a co-pilot? Uh, JMG captain's chair. Captain's chair. Yeah, so it's crash tested. Um, yeah. Which is really nice. Yeah, for sure. To have that solution with the seatbelt built in. This L track, you can pretty much okay. mount anything you want to to the walls in, in all sorts of places. And the, the L track is actually doing double duty. Not only can you mount stuff to it, but these panels are being snugged in by it. And then you've got a nice, nice bamboo ceiling. Look at that view out of the back of the van. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right, guys, take it easy. I'm headed back home. Tomorrow is, is a free day. Mel, my friend, I'm um, staying at his house. He's, uh, he's always got fun plans on the weekend, so maybe we'll go for a ride. But I gotta edit some video, man. I am really far behind. Feels good to have that uh, sh uh, that floor finished. If you guys are wondering what that noise is, that's uh, those are like the support struts that are pushing down on the floor of the van. Just jangling. That's that's not a sound that uh, will follow me <laughs> forever. Just just while the floor is uh, curing. Woo! Those are the brights right there.